Okay, Joe, you ready? Good morning. Ready? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, this is a recorded video now because we uh, were having uh, some technical difficulties. Facebook Live didn't want to go live. So, okay, we're a little late in this broadcast, but here we are. We will do our commentary, our usual commentary on the gospel today. Okay, Joe, take your seat now. Joe, take your seat now. Okay, here we go. The gospel for today is from St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. Okay, Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages they will pick up serpents with their hands if they drink any deadly thing it will not harm them they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover isn't that amazing could you imagine if you had those powers now right uh, but you know what this is what i'm going to tell you you actually you actually can have those kinds of powers um, of course not in the same way not not exactly in the same manner our Lord describes it here now but what this is uh, trying to remind us is the fact that if we abide by the will of God which we were talking about yesterday right if we allow ourselves to be the instruments of Jesus Christ to spread the gospel the way he is talking to the 11 disciples here. Why only 11? Because this was after the resurrection. See, that's why he says Jesus appeared to the 11. It was after the resurrection. If we allow our Lord to use us as instruments for the spread of his gospel, for the spread of good in the world, in our own environments beginning from the family to our workplaces to the school and to our community guess what many marvelous things will happen many beautiful things can happen not so much the fact that we can drive out demons or uh, hold up snakes or uh, or, um, you know, survive a poisonous uh, <laughs> potion. God bless you. Okay? Uh, that, that still happens, though. God gives, the, God gives the, uh, the, uh, that kind of um, grace to some people. But for most of us, ordinary folks, ordinary Catholics, okay? the way that God shows um, uh, these miracles happening in souls is mostly by way of influencing their lives to be better. It is by way of giving them the grace to live better lives as a consequence of our manifesting to them the message of the gospel, the message of Jesus Christ. How does that happen? Okay. So God uses us as instruments in order to give grace. To other people God uses us as instruments uh, and, and uses our own lives as testimonies that the gospel message of Jesus Christ is in fact something that can be lived something that can be a reality in the lives of all of us in the middle of the world and for those of us who are not priests or nuns or preachers the, the way that we will spread the gospel to other people is number one by um, good, example. good example Joseph very good by living by showing good example by showing that we are living up to the gospel message and that it is a reality in our own lives see? that we are uh, living examples of uh, uh, practicing what Jesus has taught us in, through the Gospels. 
And if we are practicing these things in our lives and other people see it, then hopefully they will be enticed to follow our example and follow Jesus Christ as a consequence. Okay? Follow suit as a consequence. And for those of us who have been given the opportunity and are being given the opportunity to speak up and to advise others and to mm. proclaim the gospel in, in, in uh, other ways, then we should not shy away from those uh, kinds of opportunities. We should rather take upon ourselves the challenge and the opportunity to do precisely that, okay? to be a, a, uh, a witness of the gospel to others. <coughs> And the rewards are going to be great. Not so much for ourselves. Well, for ourselves, yeah, the rewards will be great too, right? Uh, in, you know, God works, God rewards us in many ways that we may perhaps not even realize. Okay? But the rewards of our um, um, witnessing to Jesus Christ on other souls will also be great. Will also be great. God works wonders in souls way beyond our imagination. And yesterday we were talking about that already, about how God acts in souls by giving them grace. Okay? By giving them grace. So if we just allow ourselves to be instruments of Jesus Christ for other people to see Jesus and to, to understand Jesus' message, then God is going to give them the enabling gift, okay? the empowering gift which is grace, the gift of being able to act upon the gospel message, the, the gift of being able to live out the gospel message in their own lives. That is what God is going to give to them. And that is the miracle. That those, uh, the miracle in, in those souls is what uh, is an expression of this driving out of demons. Of, of holding snakes, of speaking in languages, speaking in tongues. Uh, you know, those are the, the, the different rewards that God uh, will give to us and to other people. But we have to be, we have to have the disposition of being willing instruments. To be, to be open to the possibility that Jesus Christ is using us to spread the gospel, to spread the good news, to do good in our own environments. And, you know, uh, we have one very recent uh, experience. Okay? About two weeks ago, um, this particular um, thing I'm talking about here, this particular uh, um, reality of allowing Jesus to use us as instruments became a manifested in our own parish community in a very big way right just two weeks ago you remember what i'm talking about mm -hmm. what 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 am i talking about huh? okay <laughs> for for a very long time now well we had been talking a lot about the need to take better care of the Holy Eucharist. We have been talking about uh, all the accidents happening in our parish about the Eucharist and we have been uh, talking about how we should treat our Lord and the Holy Eucharist better. And we have been advocating the, uh, the return to uh, the more dignified manner of receiving our Lord and the Holy Eucharist. And uh, well, Modesty aside, yeah, we had allowed ourselves to be instruments of Jesus to spread this kind of um, message in our parish and um, to other people through uh, these um, live broadcasts on Facebook. And the truth is, well, thanks be to God, two weeks ago, our pastor came out with a um, an article in the front page of our parish bulletin where he now encouraged and continues to encourage everybody to receive Holy Communion in the tongue. Now that is the marvelous, marvelous uh, grace that God has given our pastor, our parish, and our 
parishioners, our community, to have this enlightened um, uh, time when uh, we are now being encouraged to show Jesus that respect, that uh, that dignity that uh, that he deserves, the 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 um, the uh, solemnity that he um, that he deserves in the manner by which we receive him at Holy Communion. This is a very good um, step towards restoring that dignity uh, in the Holy Eucharist. And, well, that was a victory that was won, uh, not, not in a very easy way. <laughs> that was a victory won with plenty of... Um, uh, sorrow, plenty of heartaches, plenty of uh, um, tension <laughs> uh, in the parish, plenty of uh, disagreements yeah, with other people. Uh, but in the end, the grace of God will always win. The grace of God wins at the end, as long as we allow ourselves to be instruments of God to do good and to spread the gospel message. So that is a very, very concrete example to all of us, right? But if we had shut up, if we decided to just say, ah, never mind, let them be, let's do our own thing, let these people be, anyway, uh, it doesn't affect me, anyway, why will I complicate my life, you know? Why will I make things harder for me? <laughs> if that was our attitude, then we wouldn't have... God would not have wrought this big, big grace that has now dawned upon our own parish community of St. Joseph's Church. So, my children, do not keep your mouth shut. Do not ever allow uh, the devil to discourage you from being good instruments of Jesus Christ to proclaim the gospel and to do good to other people and to always show that goodness that God works in our souls let us show it by the way we live our lives and give good example and be an inspiration to other people okay okay that's it for us we're off to mass bye tomorrow again bye 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 I'm empty <laughs>